Hello, this is Steve. How's everybody doing today? Um, today, I was just going to bring you another quick little review on uh, a model I just got in uh, about a week ago. And it's uh, from Spark. And it's the 2018 911 RSR. Uh, that's the Le Mans version. They raced in Le Mans. And just to go ahead and throw it in there with it to see the difference, there's another Spark. It's the 2015 911 RSR. And you can see there's a totally two different generations. Uh, they're both made by Spark. Uh, real good quality. And let's just dive right in and just do a quick little look at uh, at both of them. I'll do the, uh, the 15 first. And like I said, this is more of the more of the re traditional 911 i mean it's got the you know the engine in the back um you know the, the yellow headlights with the yellow fog lights at the bottom you know it's got the tow hook in the front little red tow hook um none of the it's they're both resin models so they nothing opens on the model so they're basically all sealed um you know pretty good detail inside if y'all can see inside there Got some pretty good, you know, pretty good detail in there. Um, of course, they got, you know, they show they got Michelin tires, and that's the factory, the factory backed Porsche. Like I say, they're both RS, they both are the RSR, so they both run the the GTLM or the GTE series. Um, they're both, you know, ran the Le Mans race over in France the 24 hours but like I said it's a it's a really cool good quality uh, the paint and all the all the stickers and the wing and everything on them they, they all look you know really you know real legit it's got the tow hook on the back the tail lenses look you know really really good really sharp details um, the brakes you know, and the brakes, if I can get in there, they have pretty good detail with the tires and the wheels. Got the little antennas on the top. And like I said, it more looks like the traditional 911 Porsche that you would that you would see on the street. Um, of course, it's just like a, basically just uh, like a highly, you know, obviously they're highly modified, but I mean, they're still basically, still look like the same car that, that's on the street. I think that it's got the good grill in the front with the little splitter, and it looks like it's the carbon. You probably can't get it on this with the with. I'm using to record, but it's, you can see it looks like it's got some car. You know, it looks like a carbon fiber on the splitter there in the front. So, you know, again, it's got some really good details to it. Really nice looking. Um, I've had that one for again. I've had that one probably for about two three years. Um, but just to compare it and compare it to the 2018, which the 2018 is, they changed it. And obviously kind of like my Corvettes and my other review that I did. I mean, this is a, a, the 2018 version. So you can see again, the arrow is drastically different. Um, you can see the side where it's got this huge side skirts on it. What kind of like the, what the Corvette C7R has and the splitter in the front with the canard with the little winglets there in the front. You know, the canards there. Again, really good detail with you know little arrow with the tow hook, the quick release latches there on the on the they got on the hood, the mirrors, which are black. Um, I picked this one, which is by uh, Bamber and Tandy and Palais, and they got the you know I liked it because it had the I like Tandy one for one anyway. Um, I watched him race at Road Atlanta, and he's just an awesome driver. But um, I liked I liked it too because it had the green outline on the big on the splitter and the or, I mean the diffuser on the back. But again, it's, you know the exhaust is accurate. Um, they did change the exhaust on the, on this RSR because it, when they first came out. They were basically where those dips are right here. They came out about right there on each side, but now they changed them to the center, and just like that one is, so that's accurate. Um, again, the lenses. All the stickers, um, you know, the wing, the way the wing is, you know, everything is highly detailed. 
um, the insides. I can't know if I can get a good enough picture there or the inside, but um, again, it looks really detailed. Like I said, I wish something would open, but unfortunately, they're all sealed. Um, good, you know, brakes. It's like they're slotted and everything. Brakes and wheels and tires all really high detailed. So, I mean, all in all, I mean, the paint is, I didn't see, I couldn't find anything wrong with it. It's flawless between that and the paint, you know, the paint scheme and the stickers and, and everything. And even if, even the numbers, um, they look like they glow, which that's at nighttime. They have that, they kind of glow at night. So you can, um, see them better at nighttime and the, these numbers kind of glow. So I thought that was kind of, kind of different. I thought that was cool. Um, But everything looks, you know, extremely accurate and uh, high quality. Uh, of course, the lenses are clear, which that's last year they changed the rules and they have uh, the clear lenses now on the GT cars compared to the yellow, like as on the other older one. So they changed it over um, on the GT Pro, GTE Pro, I should say. But um, yeah, they look. Uh, I'm really happy with them, and for all the Porsche fans out there, anybody that loves Porsches, I mean, I, I like all of them. Um, I mean, I'm, I think they're all really great looking. I mean, I've seen, I've, I've, I've watched these in person race at Road Atlanta, and I just, they're awesome, and one of the best sounding cars ever, especially the new RSR, just sounds amazing in person, but um tell me what y'all think, and if, if, you, if you like them, or which one you like the best. Uh, it's hard to pick. I, I really like the old traditional one too, but the, the, the new RSR looks great. So it's kind of a, it's a hard, uh, it, to me that they're both great cars in real life and the models, the spark, they're, they're both really nice, but, uh, you know, tell me what you think in the comments, if you, what you like or not like, and, and, uh, if you like what you see, you know, give me a hit the like button for me and I appreciate it. And I hope everybody has a great day. See ya.